Hello and welcome to the second in these uh, revision sessions that are based on the section called the Urban Issues and Challenges. So if we just remind ourselves what the word urban means, it means cities uh, or large towns, but um, cities, mega cities, very built up areas, lots of people. Um, issues and challenges, so looking at some of the um, problems and um, other issues which may be uh, positive or negative. The key idea we're looking at today is this, that urban growth, absolutely vital, we keep a really, really firm, uh, firmly in mind that we're talking about growth. Remember it's about change. So urban growth creates opportunities and challenges, good things and bad things, for cities in LICs and NEEs. And if you remember from the last video, these cities are experiencing urban growth due to natural increase and, what was the other one? R-U-M. Rural urban migration. Now, if you're not sure what those are, please go back and look at the first video. Very, very important. OK, so the city that we are going to look at is Mumbai in India. So I'm just going to put this graph here because it's really important. It's We're going to keep coming back to this idea. So Mumbai is experiencing urban growth. If you go back to 1950, there were maybe two to three million people. And that has rapidly grown and continues to grow. Um, and we are now... Uh, well, Mumbai city is now well over 20 million people. I think in the last 20 years, 8 million additional people have arrived. And if you think about what that must mean for Mumbai, um, you'll be, uh, yes, you can imagine. It's a, it throws up a lot of challenges and also um, some opportunities, many opportunities. OK, so let's have a bit of a think then. So our key question is that um, there are good things and bad things, opportunities and challenges. Those are the words that you're likely to see. So if we think about India, if you remember India is a really large country in Southeast Asia and it sort of points down into the Indian Ocean. Mumbai is on the coast here. Uh, so that's Mumbai. It's in um, the state of... Maharashtra. I'm just going to check that because I'm very, very good at spelling that incorrectly. Um, it's in Maharashtra. Yep, Maharashtra um, state. A bit like uh, we have counties in India, they have these large states. It's the richest area in um, in India, and Mumbai city is a is a real. Um, source of income and jobs in the area. It's on the coast, it's a very important port. So boats come in, it's a real shipping centre now and it has been in the past. Um, it has um, a major airport. It has many uh, large um, businesses. Um, so it has um, company headquarters. So there's businesses like Tata Steel, which has been making headlines in the UK at various times uh, recently. I think Nokia has their um, Asian headquarters there. Um, Bollywood is a huge source of jobs um, and they create vast numbers of films every year. I think there's a statistic, it's one a day, so you need to check that. Um, but it's really very important. Um, a huge amount of jobs here. Um, so if we just chop that down. So there are jobs, many, different. Um, and because of that, because there are these jobs in offices, jobs in the film studios, um, jobs in many, many factories, there's a big in industry industrial centre. Because of that, there are many other jobs that go around the edge. So people are setting up pl 
places where, where people can buy food, can buy drink and all of those other things. So Mumbai sits there. It's, it's of great importance in, in Maharashtra state. Many people move in Maharashtra to Mumbai. It's great of great importance within India. It's not the capital city. Um, that's New Delhi, but it is the financial capital. Um, the Indian Stock Exchange is there. Um, the State Bank of India has its headquarters there. Um, the Stock Exchange. So it's in terms of if you think about London, um, where they have many of the big banks and the, the stock exchange. And that's our capital city. Mumbai is the financial capital. Um, so there's a lot going on there. It's also of international importance. So if you think about uh, it's a, tour, a transport hub in and out of the country, you've got some of these international businesses based um, in Mumbai. So a very, very important city. Um, looking at it there. So just make sure that you've got some idea there. Now we know... Looking at the graph, that the population is going up. This graph will keep appearing. So important. Why is this happening? It's happening because people are being born. Babies are being born. So you've got your natural increase where birth rate is greater than death rate. And if more babies are being born than people are dying, that population is going up. But very importantly, we've also got rural urban migration. Can't say it enough coming into Mumbai. Okay, so what we're going to look at now, and it's a real key theme, it's, it's explicitly mentioned, we need to think about opportunities and challenges. So I'm going to suggest that we make a sort of mind map of opportunities. Opportunities created um, by urban growth, and it's I think it's really important to divide these. Now, there are opportunities for people arriving. So these are almost pull factors, aren't they? And some of them are social. And some of them are economic. Now, you could pause at this point and have a think about how many you could write on each of these sides. So... Let's have a look and a think. So socially, think of your services. Education, and that will include universities as well as schools for all ages. Healthcare. Um, again, a wide range of hospitals and clinics. Um, clean water. And if you're coming in from um, one of the rural areas, this may not be available where you are. More... Uh, reliable food, um, because food is bought into the city, it may well be that if you're in a rural area that's experiencing a difficult climate, it may well be that if you're living in Mumbai, you you are going to um, find that you are um, you have a more reliable source of food if you can get enough money. So economically, if you remember, we mentioned in the last video, jobs that pay. So just try not to just to say jobs, jobs that pay more than farming on the whole. Um, so that's a reason to be leaving the rural areas and coming into Mumbai City, this great big city of over 20 million people. Um, and there are many of those. So you can think about offices um, and then within the office, you may be an office worker, you may be a cleaner. Um, recycling. So we're going to talk about Darrowy Slum and there's a big amount of recycling there. Um, you may be um, a street vendor, so you may be selling things on the street. Um, you may be working in a factory. So there are many, many types of jobs and again, a huge um, array. And obviously with that, um, you can actually, if you think about it, we can link between these two, can't we? Because education could lead to um, better jobs. So if you bring your children in and you think they're going to get a better education and they're going to be able to read and write, this can then feed into the types of jobs that you're going to be seeing in Mumbai, which again is very important. 
Okay, there's a second opportunity that is specifically spelled out. I'm going to write a sentence and I want you to think about this sentence and make sure that you've got it in your head and you're really happy. Um, urban industrial, this is from the specification, urban industrial areas are a stimulus, stimulus for economic development. Let's take a moment to think about what that means. Urban industrial areas. So what does that mean? Let's just write it underneath. So that means urban, okay, we're in the city, industrial areas. So factories, I'm not happy with that pen. Let's try a different one. Um, factories in uh, Mumbai, or it could be a different city, are a stimulus, so they make happen, they start off economic development, making money. So this, so factories in Mumbai lead to, and if we're talking about economic development, this isn't about an individual, this is about the country. So factories in Mumbai lead to the country making money. Now that's important because this will help to pay for many of these social benefits. So what does that mean? Okay, so I want you just to imagine we've got a stereotypical factory and there it is. So we're just thinking about opportunities now. So don't think about pollution. Um, we're just thinking about opportunities. What do those factories, that area of factories, what does that represent for the country? Into, and, and for the local people. Well, number one, it represents jobs. So if we imagine we've got a whole line of people coming in to work in the factory and they're coming in, and where are they coming from? This could be rural, urban migration. So these are people, again, think about it, coming from the village into Mumbai, moving in, rural urban migration, and they're coming to work in the factories. Now, that may make their lives better. They may earn more money. We can think about the negatives, but at the moment we're all about the opportunities. Um, but what's also keen is to realise that rural urban migration creates a large amount of cheap, what... L A cheap labour. So the rural urban migration, this massive growth that we see here, these people coming in, coming in, coming in, can then go and work in rural and urban industrial areas. So they end up with more money. So these people okay, it would be rupees. I'm gonna give them all a dollar sign because will be clearer. So these people end up with more money. That's good. What happens now? Think in terms of the country. Now, when people get paid, you may be aware that they keep some of it and spend it, but some of it goes to taxes. That's right. So if these people are paying taxes, that tax money can be invested in... <laughs> Sorry about the mess education and healthcare. Now education and healthcare can feed into a more educated workforce which then leads into better jobs which pay more money and those people are paying more taxes. So think about these people, there's cheap labour, rural urban migration coming in, that's why they're building the factories there because they know that they're going to get lots and lots of people coming to work there. Look at the graph, people coming in, People coming in, rural urban migrants will work for a lower wage because they were potentially mostly farming beforehand. So in they come and they're working in the factories and they're paying taxes and that's great for the government because they can invest it in schools, roads and so on. Other thing that happens is that these people spend money in other places, in shops and in cafes and 
on rickshaws and in a variety of different places. So these people, these shopkeepers and the cafe owners and the and the rickshaw drivers, they earn more money. And this is called the multiplier effect. And the people in the shops and the cafes and the rickshaw drivers potentially also pay taxes. So by putting these factories in here, these people will earn more money. They will pay their taxes. The taxes are spent on improving the area and creating all of these things. Also paying for infrastructure like roads and electricity supply and so on. And that makes the country and it makes the city and the country better, more developed. They'll attract more businesses to come in and put their office blocks and their factories in Mumbai. As the place improves, then people are spending more money in other businesses and all of these businesses are getting richer. And then the builders build more and then there are more cars being purchased as people get richer and then those businesses get richer and so on. And this is what we need to think about, that Mumbai offers opportunities to the people coming in, but it also creates a lot of money for the country in terms of the multiplier effect and taxes which can be spent on all of these positive things which improve the country.